Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Antorus Raid Boss Guides. This next boss is Vari Mothras. Now this is a pretty straightforward fight where everybody is going to be stacking up, and there's going to be two markers on the floor, and everyone has to move between these two markers, position A and position B. These are going to be behind the boss right here. Now for the tanks, on normal mode the tanks will simply stack up, and on heroic one has to be in front of the boss, and the other one has to be to the side of the boss. Although on heroic you do want to be inside of that hitbox just to make sure that you are within 8 yards of the other tank. This is very important. If anyone throughout this whole fight is more than 8 yards away from anyone else, they will get hit for a ton of damage and will not be able to receive healing. If this happens to one of the tanks, they could go down prematurely. Now the tanks they want to taunt off each other after they're hit by shadow strike. And again, in normal mode shadow strike is just a regular hit and in heroic mode it's a frontal cleave so the tanks need to spread apart a little bit. So here you'll see footage of where to be in heroic mode, how to be right by his leg while the other tank is right in front of him. Now as for the healers, do not waste any of your heals or any of your mana on people that have the misery debuff. This means that they cannot receive any healing until that debuff falls off in 6 seconds. So when your tanks swap, do not heal the off tank because it is just a waste of mana and won't result in anything. Now for the rest of the raid, whenever everyone drops an AoE puddle on the ground like this, you have to move from your position A to your position B. And the only other mechanic you need to worry about throughout this fight is when you see an arrow underneath the boss like this this and it's going to target someone, you need to get one of your DPSers to step forward and be the front of the pack. And this DPSer should have a gap closing ability. So it could be a warrior with charge, a kitty with leap, a rogue with shadow step, a mage with blink, a warlock with demonic circle. And this is because this hit will knock them back and away from the group. So they need to get back into the group as quickly as possible. So as soon as they start getting knocked back, they should use their gap closing ability to move back into position with the group. If they get hit twice outside of the group, they will go down. And that really does it for this fight. Just be careful with your tank swapping. If you mess up even once, your tanks are going to go down. The only other thing is that there is a 6 minute enrage timer because there is slow AoE ticking damage. And at 6 minutes, it will also apply the misery debuff, meaning that no one can get healed, which will result in a wipe. Thank you all for watching, and as always, good luck out there.